Hey everybody, this is Tyson again. Fuel Systems Research and Development. Just wanted to show you a little teeny hydrogen cell here. I got this little spiral cell. Don't know how well you can see it, but right down in there that I got from a guy. Sent it to me and wanted me to do some testing with it. So, now I can finally do some testing. I have this battery charging unit right here. Um, different amperage settings. 2 amp, 10 amp, 40 amp, 100 or 200 amp. Um, and then a 46 volt, and those ones are all in 12 volt, and then there's this one up here at the bottom, of th which is a 40 amp 6 volt. Just wanted to show you what kind of production I get. Um, I added a little, I added about a tablespoon of baking soda into this cup right here, um, just to see what it would do, and check this out. I'm going to put it on the uh, 2 amp setting first. Okay, I'll turn it off. See if I'm gonna try to get the whole thing in here. But two amp setting. Okay. Forty amp six volt. I'll let it calm down here. Okay, forty amp six volt. So you can see how instantaneous that is. It's pretty crazy okay and you want to see 10 volts there's 10 volts and there's 40 or 10 amps I meant amps there's 40 amp setting it's almost overflowing out of the cup And to the 200 amp, I'll need to get a meter so that I can see how many amps are actually going through it because I don't think it's really 200. But that one's so much that this wire right here will start sparking because of the amperage that is going through there. So um, it'll actually ignite the hydrogen probably. So watch. going to start bubbling over and to prove to you guys that this is hydrogen check it out so it is the hydrogen and oxygen but that's it for now so you can see even at the 2 amp setting it produces quite a bit but when you crank it up holy cow the sucker really puts it out so what I'm gonna do is um, get my little container that I had for my first hydrogen cell and uh, put this spiral cell in that and then that way I have a sealed container and a hose coming out so that I can see if I can get some production measurements on it but there you go test them with FSRD, Fuel Systems Research and Development. Um, thanks for watching. Take care.